Good morning and happy Friday. I'm Jessica Williams and welcome to Living Local 15. We have an exciting show for you today. I head outside to test out the brand new Ninja Outdoor Wood Fire Grill and I cook up a smoky steak without the hassle of charcoal, gas, or propane. I then chat with Three Rivers Festival about their mega event coming up, and later I speak with Silver Birch to learn more about their assisted living programs. Are you ready? Let's get started. Fashion, food, and fun. You're watching Living Local 15 with your host, Jessica Williams. So today we are kicking off our summer cookout series and I am so excited to introduce you to a brand new grill from Ninja Kitchen. This right here is the Ninja Wood Fire Outdoor Grill and you can cook like a pro, have your food tasting so yummy yummy with charred flavor from wood pellets right at home. This is an outdoor grill and today I'm going to cook some vegetables and a ribeye steak. But first, let's take a look at the grill. Let's take a look at the Ninja Wood Fire Pro Outdoor Grill with a built-in thermometer. So first off, the size of it, as you can see, it's not a heavy machine, which is great, very sturdy. And when you open it, you can tell that the grill has a lot of depth in it, so you can make bigger items like chickens and larger steaks. It comes with so many different items that's really easy to assemble. So basically I set everything out from the box to show you all how it is put together. So over here we have the grill pan so that you can get a really nice sear and grill marks on your meat. And it also comes with an air fryer crisp pan, which is great. You can do so many different cooking techniques on this grill, including smoking, air crisp, baking, roasting, broiling, and dehydrating, which is so cool. You can actually dehydrate your fruits and vegetables to make more healthier snacks. And it comes with some extra items if you get the pro kit, okay? So first off, you have your wood pellets and it has two different flavors to it. An all blended one, which is more bright and sweet and mild. And then the robust one, which gives you that really nice smoky flavor. When you smell it, you can't smell anything, but I'm sure the flavor will come through. I have never grilled on this before, so I'm so excited. Just to show you a couple of other items, it comes with a tray, a drip tray that you can put in the back of it. The built-in thermometer, which is located here, has a holder for it, right? So it goes in here, you put your meat on it, and it slides right into the grill as it's cooking to keep up with the thermometer. And it also has the wood chip scoop, okay? So just to show you, you take the chip of choice, and then you pour it, your wood chips, look at that. Very interesting looking. And then you open up the chip um, spout over here, and then, and I'll show you, it actually, comes out, but you can just pour it directly in there to get ready for your smoking. And just to give you a little extra information about the Ninja Grill, this is something that's for outdoor use. You can use it on your patio. You can buy one of those stands to place it on. And what's really cool about it is it gives you that hardwood smoke infused into your meats that you are cooking. And it's really quick and easy. It also gives you a dial that basically tells you step-by-step step what to do. It says when it's preheating. It says when the smoker is getting started with the Ignite the Smoker option if you want it and it also tells you when to add the food and when it's done so it has the timer the heating setting just like all of the other ninja products so let's get grilling all right let's get grilling today i have a marinated ribeye steak that was marinated overnight. We have already preheated our machine and ignited the wood. As you can see, the smoke is coming and it smells so good. This is my first time cooking on the Ninja Grill, so I'm so excited to see the results. So it tells us now that we can add food. So let's open it, you'll see, woo, that smokiness. 
The instructions say to fully insert the thermometer before you put it on the grill. So I'm going to take this and fully insert it on the side and the heart of the meat. Then I'm gonna grab our steak. And I'm gonna put it woo, on the grill like that. And then I'm gonna close it. Okay, so as you can see, the countdown has already began. It already knows how long to cook the meat because the thermometer is inserted in it and we have it on the grill. So it's going to tell me when it's time to give it a flip. All right, and just like that, after five minutes, it told me to go ahead and flip it. The thermometer is keeping track of the meat, so let's take a look. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, smoky goodness is cooking it. Looks delicious. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm gonna adjust the thermometer. Look at those marks. Look at those grill marks. Okay, we're gonna close it and let it cook for the remainder of the five minutes. And it's super smoky, so I have these tongs to kind of step back, but you wanna make sure you're not in the wave of the smoke traveling. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Yes, okay. Let's take a look at our yummy, yummy steak. I'm so excited. Wow, look at that baby. Oh, it's charred. It has some crisp to it. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it. Look at that beauty. Okay, so we're gonna set our steak right there and let that baby rest for about five minutes. And while that happens, we're going to go ahead and cook our vegetables on the grill. Go ahead and spread those out. So I seasoned these with salt, pepper, garlic powder, red pepper flakes, parsley. So we'll close that and we'll give that a couple of minutes. All right, and so while our vegetables are cooking, we're going to pour up a nice little summer refreshing cocktail. So as you can see here, it's so easy to make it fun on the outside when you are entertaining, if you're having a cookout, going to be by the pool. This here is plastic ware that I found at Kroger. Super easy to make your own little entertainment set. You just add a little garnish. I have a mint leaf. I have a wheel of lemon and then of course a cute straw. And this here is really simple. It's lemonade and cucumber vodka. Okay, so it gives it a little fun, refreshing mix. So a whole bottle of lemonade with about a cup of your vodka. And then you pour it in there. I already have that. So you just add on the nice little mint leaf. There you go. All right, let's check on our vegetables. Woohoo, look at this. Okay, getting our final vegetables on the plate. And as easy as that, this grill is so cool. I haven't tasted the food yet, but I'm already super impressed with how easy it is and how it gives you the instruction so anyone can manage this grill. All right, guys, now for the best part, the tasty taste. I am so excited to cut into this steak. <sighs> Look at that. Yummy. Let me get it on a spin so you can see the inside of that steak. Depending on how you like it, you can actually set it to cook it medium, medium rare, and all of the above. Oh, so juicy. Now the true test. Mmm. 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 Yes, the marinade has something to do with it. So I marinated it in Worcestershire sauce. I added in, of course, seasonings, um, garlic, salt, pepper, um, liquid smoke, and a few other things. It's so flavorful, like, and it actually has that charred taste that you would expect from a wood fire grill. Okay, now let's taste the vegetables. Mm. Huh. 
Mm. 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 The verdict is in. I am highly impressed by this Ninja Outdoor Wood Fire Grill. It gives you everything you need, but it's an easy grill to put together, easy cleanup, because you just remove that tray, wash it, and reset. We're going to continue our summer cookout series here on Living Local 15, and guess what? I have a special bonus for you. Living Local 15 has partnered with Ninja Kitchen, and they are giving our viewers 15% off this hardwood grill. You simply go to their website, place an order, and type in the promo code WAYNE15. We'll have more information listed on our website, and we'll be right back. Follow us on social media at Living Local 15. Festival coverage on Living Local 15 is brought to you by Marathon Rewards and Fills One Stop. The time has come to enjoy the largest festival in Fort Wayne. As they say, the Three Rivers Festival is a time to come and catch up with old friends. And to share more about this festival is John Nickcher, who is the president of the board of directors for the Three Rivers Festival. Hi, John. Hello. How are you? Good. Thank you for having me. Yes. So the time has come and I've heard so much about this festival. This will be my first year attending oh. and experiencing oh. it, which is exciting. So share with us just about it. Give us an overview. Well, this is the festival's 54th year. It started in 1969, mm -hmm. uh, and so it's a celebration of Fort Wayne, its residents, and the region. So uh, we're excited to get kick it off here in a few days. Yes, 54 years. Yes. That's incredible. And I know that this is a very long-running festival for over a week, mm -hmm. and you all offer so many different things that people can do and experience for any age mm -hmm. and all in the family. Yeah. So kind of share with me a couple of the um, events and kind kind of sub things that people can do yeah. at the festival. Yeah, so the festival's nine days and there's events every single day uh, that caters to different type of groups. So we start off the first weekend uh, with the art in the park in Fryman Square. So everyone that loves to see different art pieces can come down to Fryman Square and see that. And then we have our parade on Saturday morning as yes. well. Uh -huh. uh, so we line up the, the streets of Fort Wayne. Uh, also, the first weekend is our riverboat excursions over in Headwaters West. So people could take mm -hmm. a free pontoon boat uh, up and down the St. Mary's River. Oh. Uh, so that's a nice uh, event the first weekend. Yes. Uh, and then we also have concerts as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first night we have uh, Joseph and uh, Fort Wayne talent uh, Addison Agin performing in the Headwaters Plaza. Nice. Uh, and then second on um, Saturday we have a Who's Bad. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're excited to have them back here uh, for the festival. Nice. Uh, and then Monday, we have our waiter waitress competition mm -hmm. uh, in, in the Headwaters Park uh, or Plaza as well. I love that. I love that you all offer different mm -hmm. things than a typical festival mm -hmm. would offer, right? Of course, you're going to have the music, the entertainment, mm -hmm. the food. Mm -hmm. And so this, so on that Monday, the waiter waitress contest, mm -hmm. what is that? I've yeah. never heard of such a thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so different uh, restaurants uh, throughout Fort Wayne in the area will get together and battle against each other. Uh, and what essentially we'll do is you run down uh, to the end of a table and you'll have to like set the table. So put oh. cups and silverware mm -hmm. and then you'll run back and another uh, uh, contestant will run down and then put like actually put bread on the plate and put salad on the, on the plate as well and then fill the water cup up. And then the third person has to bust it off. And every time you drop a spill of water or a lettuce, you get points or a time deducted from your. So the oh. fastest uh, team at the end will take away the champion uh, uh, being the waiter waitress competition winner. That's so cool. Yeah. I mean, that's so unique. Mm -hmm. Who knew? Okay. I love that. And then you also will have Midway, yes. right? So that is more of the traditional fair type of amusement and rides and mm -hmm. games and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then we also have our helicopter ride on the west side <gasps> really? again. So, yep. If you want to take a helicopter ride and see Fort Wayne from a couple yeah. thousand feet up, you can do that as well. That's cool. And what day is that? And that runs through the whole week of the festival. Oh. Yep. So the whole nine days. Yeah. I love it. Okay, great. And so if someone is interested in purchasing tickets, where should mm -hmm. they go? Yeah, so you go to our website and we mm -hmm. have uh, all the most updated information right there and on our Facebook. Uh, so just go to threeriversfestival.org. Uh, click on the event that you're interested. It'll give you the times, locations. If you have a question, you can ask a question right there at the bottom of the contact us. Mm -hmm. But everything is uh, uh, on our website. You can purchase tickets um, and uh, and 
hopefully I'll see you down at the festival. Yes. Well, thank yeah. you so much, John, yeah. for sharing no that information and coming in today. No problem. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And if you would like more information about the Three Rivers Festival, we'll have their website listed below. This sounds like an awesome week, and they are offering something for everyone. We'll have that listed below, and we'll be right back. Festival coverage on Living Local 15 is brought to you by Marathon Rewards and Phil's One Stop. Living Local 15, proudly driven by the Kelly Automotive Group. This segment sponsored by Silver Birch of Fort Wayne. Silver Birch offers a different kind of assisted living community where everyone can afford a quality of life. And here to share more is Joy Grow, their executive director, and Sandra Logan, their marketing director. Hi, ladies. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> yes, so I'm really interested in learning more about this assisted living community. So why don't you start off by sharing, what is Silver Birch? So Silver Birch is an affordable assisted living. So um, assisted living is different from a skilled nursing facility. I think that that's important. Um, we're not a nursing home, okay? We're, okay. Um, we're a place where people can um, be independent. They can uh, enjoy their life. Um, that maybe they need a little bit of assistance with something, like maybe a med medication management, for example. Mm -hmm. um, but we can help them live their most full, independent life with just that little bit of assistance. Yeah, so you say not um, senior living, but so what is the age range for those who come to the assisted living program? Do you want to answer that? So for Silver Birch, you have to be at least 55 years of age okay. or older to mm -hmm. be a part of the assisted living facility. Um, some people, you know, with their health, sometimes it declines a little bit. So therefore, um, people with those types of conditions, when they're declining, they need assisted living. And mm -hmm. sometimes people don't realize that they do need assisted living. Right, right. And then sometimes you see with the um, communities that are catered to um, seniors or just an older um, age range that it's sometimes the quality of life aspect, but it's also really the medical services that you all um, can provide something extra if they need it. So is it open to anyone who hits that age or specifically those who need more medical attention? It is open to those who need more medical okay. attention. Mm -hmm. So it's not a specific apartment community. Mm -hmm. It's assisted living and they do need to have you know, something where they need assistance. Mm -hmm. like they need they need assistance with something, with with one of those activities of daily living is how okay. we describe that. Okay, and so can you go a little further, like what would be an, act, an activity, a uh, daily activity? Sure, so something like um, bathing, preparing food, okay. maybe cl house cleaning, mm -hmm. those types of things that we do, you know, we kind of take for granted in our everyday life that we do. Right. They might need a little extra help in those areas. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's great. And so share with me a little bit about the apartments that you all offer and the amenities that's within them. Yes, so we have studio and one bedroom apartments. Mm -hmm. Our apartments come unfurnished, but they do have small kitchenettes with a full size refrigerator, mm -hmm. microwave, um, it's temperature controlled in each room. So, oh. you know, that person is able to have one room hot, one room cold, if that's mm -hmm. what they would like. Um, we do have spacious bathrooms. They do have um, showers with handheld shower heads. So if they're sitting, they're able to remove that to shower themselves off. They can eat three meals a day in our restaurant style dining room. Oh, okay. And they also receive two snacks a day as well. Okay, that's really nice. And so share with me some of the activities that may go on on campus. Well, we got lots of activities <laughs> going on. Yes. Yeah. We, um, you know, we want to try to cater to all the different interests, hobbies, and things that you know people have. We, yeah. we definitely have a group of um, residents in our community that love to to eat. Um, mm -hmm. I think, you know, that's that's a great social, you know, thing to do. We've got some pool players mm -hmm. and some card players that we, um, so we can have some, you know, card and billiard events. Yeah, that's so amazing. Yeah. And so share with me some of the qualifiers um, to be a part of the community. If someone's listening and they're like, oh my goodness, this sounds great for me or for my parents, what should they do and how do, do they qualify? 
So someone can come in. First, we ask them to come in and take a tour just to make sure this yeah. is a place that they would like to call home. Uh -huh. um, there is an application process that takes place at that time. Um, they do, again, need some type of medical assistance. Okay. And once we you know, go through that process of interviewing that person to see if they would be a good fit for Silver Birch, then they're able to move in. And this is a place for you to just kick back, live, and have fun. Yeah, I love that. So I know that you all have an exciting block party happening in July. Please share more with me. Yeah. Yes, so we are having a summer block party on Wednesday, July 19th. It will mm -hmm. be from 11 to 3. This is a community event, so everyone is welcome. We will have some frozen desserts there. We will have a live DJ. Oh. We will also have Kingdom Crowns providing some haircuts, mm -hmm. um, as well as different vendors selling different things, um, passing out information about different um, businesses that are in the community. Mm -hmm. So we want any and everyone to come out join us for our summer block party and also learn about Silver Birch. So if someone is interested in learning more, where should they go? They can go to our website, mm -hmm. which is um, silverbirchliving.com. They can also give me a call. Um, my direct line is 260-441-3002. Okay. I would be happy to bring someone in for a tour yes. and let them experience what Silver Birch has to offer. Okay, well, thank you so much ladies for coming in and sharing more about Silver Birch. Thank yes. You. And if you would like more information or to learn more about their monthly move-in specials, be sure to give them a call. We'll be right back. This segment sponsored by Silver Birch of Fort Wayne. Well, that's our show for today. We hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to order your Ninja Wood Fire Grill for easy summer cooking. And enjoy 15% off with promo code Wayne15. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you here on Monday. Bye-bye. Content segments during today's Living Local 15 were paid for by these sponsors.